If you use digital forms to collect data, there may be times when you want to share form responses, either digitally or on paper. The PDF is a document format that allows you to do both. It prints neatly in hard copy, but you can also send it to others via email and other digital methods. Here are some options for how to save a Google form as a PDF to share the form and its results. So if you want a hard copy of your Google form to hand out to a group of people, or you know, to share with space aliens who don't have internet access, people do that. You absolutely can do this. You'll just have to do some data entry of the paper form responses when you're done. So after you've created your form, you're just gonna click the three dots in the upper right hand corner and select print. Or you can just press control P on PCs or command P on Macs. Most modern browsers, including Chrome, will give you the option to print the PDF. And to do so, you're just gonna go to here and you're going to click on the printer that you want. And then you're gonna press print. Now you also have the ability to save it as a PDF. So if I press save as PDF and press save here, I could download it to my downloads as well. And you'll see it's downloaded onto my computer and the entire form is right here. The final result will be a nicely formatted PDF file it's pretty much perfect for printing or sharing through email or online. So the layout spacing gives you plenty of room to fill out the form by hand. Now let's talk about converting form stats to PDF. Google Forms gives you a nice lightweight analytics style overview of your form submissions. To see it, all you have to do is go to the responses on the top of this tab right here and the summary tab should be already selected. In that tab, you'll see the statistics for all of the answers. That's right here. To print these uh, different responses out though, what you could actually do is press uh, Control P or Command P if you're on a Mac or a PC. So then right here, that actually opened a new tab with a view of just the analytics. You can press Control P or Command P again to open up the printing options dialog. And the actual printing process is the same as in the previous section. I could obviously save these out and check this out too. This option may not be practical if your form has uh, thousands of responses. You know, there's only two here, so that's fine. But if you want to see every individual response in one PDF, there's a way to do it. Once you have a few responses, you can go to any sub tab under responses at the top level tab in the upper right hand corner of that sub tab. So if you go right here and you can click print all responses. And then from there, as you'll see, it'll be saveable right here if we open it up goes through each person's individual responses as at a submission level. So you can see it's separate for uh, this email versus this email that submitted it. As mentioned previously, showing all the different submissions that went through may get out of hand and you may want to just showcase just one submission. And that's actually pretty easy to do. You just change from the summary tab to the individual tab and click on the one that you want by navigating through here with the left and right arrows or by typing out the number and then pressing the print response button. And from there, you can save it the exact same way. And once it's saved, you'll see this ends up only being that one submission. The default layouts to forms are pretty nice, but if you wanna give it some more flair, you can add images or customize the layout to match your brand. That's where Google Forms is gonna let you down. What we suggest using is our platform, JotForm. JotForm has your back in this because it has a PDF editor that you can use to edit the output of any form. It's friendly, powerful, and free with all JotForm plans. So just by going to this PDF editor, you'll see that there's a bunch of different options to choose from. You can select it and edit any of the different PDFs that you could ever imagine. Check out the styling of this, the spacing of this, and the ability to drag things around. This is just much improved over what you're gonna find in Google Forms. So try out JotForm today if you're looking for an enhanced way to handle all of your form needs. Thank you so much for watching this video, and we'll see you in the next one.